Japan would be situated off the coast of Korea and China. Japan had forbidden Western trade until the American Commodore Matthew Perry sailed an American warship into Tokyo Bay in 1853 and forced the government to grant concessions to the West, access to Japanese ports, and extraterritoriality, much of the same things that the British had done against China. The samurai warrior class attack Western interests and Europeans attack Japanese coastal cities. In 1868, the samurai overthrew the government and restored the emperor known as the Meiji Restoration. The Japanese wanted to strengthen their society and began education in Western philosophy. They modeled their government like Germany's. The government began agricultural colleges and imported new seeds. Rice output increased 30% between 1870 and 1895, although peasants paid high taxes. Taxes went to building railroads and a modern army and navy. Wealthy families, the Zaibatsu, dominated the heavy industry of Japan, not true capitalism. The emperor controlled the government, but it had a limited bicameral or two-house legislature, the Diet. Like Germany, it was conservative nationalism rather than liberalism based on individual rights. The Germans also trained their army, and the British gave them naval expertise. Following the 1895 Sino-Japanese War, the Japanese gained the territories of Korea and Taiwan from the Chinese. Although Japan controlled Korea, the King of Korea started to warm to Russia. More significantly, the Russians feared Japanese control of northern China and went to war with the Japanese. The 1905 Russo-Japanese War was supposed to be an easy Russian victory. However, as a precursor to Pearl Harbor, the Japanese sent a fleet for a surprise victory of a small Russian fleet inside Chinese territory. Tsar Nicholas II then sent the Russian Baltic fleet on an 8,000-mile voyage to defeat Japan, but the Japan were waiting and decimated the Russians. This would be the first time an Asian country defeated a European power giving inspiration to Asian nationalists. That last sentence is key to this. Again, the Asian people looked up to Japan as saying, if an Asian power such as Japan could overthrow the Europeans, then there was hope for us. In 1910, a Korean assassinated the Japanese prime minister, and the Japanese would formally annex Korea as part of Japan.